That ain't Tyree. That's Tyree. That too chill. Where's the hat? I want something bigger than that. Well, that didn't age well. They haven't. They haven't reserved the right to say that they're America's team. I will bring Bill Belichick to Dallas. Welcome to Fourth and One. Well, I always got it done. Bringing facts by the time for the rising of the sun, but this ain't me in the shotgun. Uh uh. No, this is me in front of TV having a whole lot of fun. Hey, before we get started, make sure you guys stick around for this week's Cam's Picks presented to you by Prize Picks. This gonna be one for the ages. Oh, I couldn't wait. Ooh, hey, listen, we're gonna run down the downs, first, second, third, and fourth down, but I promise you, you want to stick around for Newton's Law. And it's simply titled, Keep that same energy. Oh, a knee slapper. Oh, a chest toucher. Oh, clenching my pearls. <laughs> Make sure you check this. Or as YouTube is now, go on and skip the Newton's Law if you want to go on and get to the debate. But needless to say, we're going to keep it how we've been keeping it. You dig what I'm saying? First down, viral moment of the week. See what we got. And we got Michael Irvin. Ready to clean house in Dallas, man. He the clean up, man. Let's see what he's talking about. You guys, you guys got something for Jerry. That's fine. But what Jerry says shouldn't affect how you perform your job. If it does, your ass got to go anyway. I don't want to hear. It. Stop talking like this. That's crazy rhetoric. You, if you're going to let somebody say, oh, you got to show up and do something. And all of a sudden you fall apart. You ain't going to do anything anyway. So get rid of them quickly. So stop. He said, get rid of them quickly. Expeditiously. I mean, quicker than Boogie in a bed. I mean, quicker than a hiccup. All of it. Hey, look, let me tell you something, bro. Doing the same thing over and over and over and over thinking the outcome would be different and different and different and different. That's insanity. To that point, I will go as far as to say this. Jerry Jones, is it you? Everybody keep talking about Mike McCarthy. Everybody keep talking about Dak Prescott. Everybody keeps blaming everybody except for the, the trigger man. Jerry Jones, is it you? They ain't won nothing meaningful in the last 28 years. How can we keep calling this America's team? Mm. And in my lifetime, my football lifetime. Okay. They ain't did shit. That ain't America's team. You breaking some backs right there that now. ain't no break, man. Look, bro. I love that. I love just the whole prestige of the Dallas Cowboys. But what the fuck have they done? Because Michael Irvin was saying, keep Jerry, clear out the team. Anybody that's scared of Man, what Jerry got no, listen, going bro, on. Listen, if I was Jerry Jones, mm -hmm. I'll step down as the general manager. The way he's been doing things hasn't been working. Bring somebody else that's in there that knows what they're doing. But they got the talent, I would, though. I would mm -hmm. empty the clip. I mean, bah, bah. I will bring Bill Belichick, William Belichick, to Dallas. What? And if anybody who knows anything, Jerry Jones could do it. So you saying? I will empty the clip with trying to get, to Bill. get Bill Belichick in Dallas. That would be the biggest storyline in sports. The biggest thing since the return of Michael Jordan. But would you let Bill be the GM and coach? Yes. He was there for, for New England. Man, Bill did everything except pay for the bills. And that's what Robert Kraft did. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, this is what people are failing to realize. You can change the coach. Mm -hmm. You can change the quarterback. You can change the receiver. You can change the defensive coordinator. But you're going to have the same results. Insanity. Jerry Jones, it is time for you to just step aside, still stay, stay the, the owner. Yeah. But as far as your hands into curating what you believe that team to be, it's not it, bro. It worked owner. before, yeah. but you have to evolve in this space. Yeah. I would do that. Okay. Man, who am I? I don't know anything. I'm washed up. I'm bitter. <sighs> oh, 
I'm in the basement. Ah! I wish I was Brock. Ah! Come on, like let's hold let's hold Jerry Jones accountable. Damn, I mean they too good, bro. They are good. They way too good for 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 the Packers to come in town and beat the fuck out of them. Next clip. <clears throat> Don't play with Sneed. He had more jam than about a a jelly right here. Oh wow. Uh. Oh. Oh. I do this. I do this. I do this. Yeah, Stop playing with me. Stop oh, playing with me. Even Tyreek had a comment, man. Jam Ooh. my ass to Cancun. He even had to give him his props. You want to? I gotta run this back one more time. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Where are you going? Okay. Ah. I do this. I do this. Okay. I do this. Rewind that right there. Okay, this is teach tape, all right? And I don't know who needs to hear this, but I'm going to tell you who does need to hear this. All these wide receiver football supposed gurus, okay? First off, right here, what? rule number one, if somebody is in a very triggering position, why the fuck your hands inside? I yeah, mean, them man is cold. He like, bro. Man, listen, bro. He too relaxed right here. Man, come on. And it don't matter if you're the best receiver in the game, Tyreek, or was, but Sneed. That dude ain't come here to play. This is a playoff game, game. bro. It's levels to this Win shit. Win or go home. I'm trying to tell you, bro, and that energy, y'all come in with all that, ah, ah, excuse me. Did, did ah, MC ah, Hammer dance ah, move? Ah, excuse me. Ah, ah, excuse me. Ah, and you're going to have so much chest sores and wounds on your damn thing. Listen, bro, it don't matter. <laughs> Football is a very physical sport, but he got caught. He got caught. And I hate, to, I hate to keep rewinding this clip because we all know that ain't Tyreek. That ain't. That's, that's, that's chilly Tyreek. He cold. Yeah, he was. Yeah. You know, Tyreek chill. chill instead of Tyreek Hill. <laughs> Woo! This is this is teach tape right here, bro. Because for high school receivers, for college receivers, with all that cute shit and crossing their arms right here, y'all know. <laughs> like, bro, if you see somebody about to jam your ass, bro, it ain't you ain't even looking over here no more. You already know the damn snap count. I'm looking dead at the damn DB because before I sit up here and get B I T C H, <laughs> damn, I gotta protect myself. At all times. And right here, we seen one of the best get exposed because he didn't protect himself. So, teach tape, when a damn DB comes into a very challenging posture, man, he not come over here to play patty cake, patty cake? That motherfucker about to sit up there and touch your, your, your chest plate, your shoulder pads, and he's trying to drill you into the ground. <laughs> Next clip. Man, them Buffalo Bills fans. Oh, yeah. A lot different. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at my boy. Yeah. Oh, Big boy. <laughs> I mean. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Come yeah. on out there, Cam. Go on and get your son, bro. Uh, Big bro, I seen what they was giving. What they was giving? $20 an hour <laughs> and a free plate. And a free plate. That's a McDonald's damn job right there. Like, at least in McDonald's, they give you heat. Yeah. Shit. And a uniform. Mm -hmm. like a back shirtless. Nah, I, what, yeah. did they invite so, people out? So, I think, was it a state of emergency? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was or not, but they had to cancel because of a, snow, a snowstorm. Correct. From that snowstorm, they put out a article or a blast that they are willing to pay anybody who's willing to work $20 an hour and they'll give them food. So they need to help to clear the stadium because the stadium cleanup crew or the stadium maintenance, it's probably like members of about five to potentially 10. Mm -hmm. All that damn snow, Tony, yay, I mean, <laughs> Pablo Escobar would have been in good competition with that. Okay. But My point is this. I'd take the job at McDonald's before taking that job. Yeah. Look at that first jump though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, in and now. I guarantee you this, bro. 
they don't give you no workers' comp. They don't. It could have ended all right there. That's so, a strong ass so slide. Right though. there, and then the dummy who recorded it, that's facts that they gonna hold your ass contempt for doing some dumb ass shit. <laughs> oh, my ribs. Oh, man, my ribs. Help me. Get me down. You, dear Buffalo Bills organization, while working, I had a strained vertebrae. If you don't tend to this matter, I will be forced to sue you. Sincerely, dumbass without no shirt. But, but, they gonna simply reply, we got footage on your dumbass exactly. doing some stupid ass shit. Get out of my office. He might be involved in the fire video when they were jumping off the table. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Bruh. He one of them firemen. He one of the fire fire man. Man. Fire 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 man. man. <laughs> what are you talking about? Shit, that motherfucker went, to, went from Lil Wayne to Young Jeezy. Jeezy the snowman. <laughs> Face that. Next clip, man. Here we go. Second down. Questionable call of the week. Let's see what we got. So we got Dak, man. Is it corny or do you respect it? Obviously, it didn't play out the same way that he said it, but this is the last game of the season um, versus the Redskins, and this is uh, the statement that he said. Well, Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb, all smiles clinch the division. And the number two seed. Where's the hat? Uh, I want something bigger than that. All right, we got it. Right. So he wanted a better hat, like a championship hat. So he was already like wishful thinking. Well, that didn't age well. That didn't age well. <laughs> yeah, that didn't age well. And, 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 and let me just say this for the record. I love Dak Prescott. Okay. Like I really do. Any person who has been in those shoes knows the pressures, the anxiety that a person may get. They know the excitement and everything. So let me let me just start off with that first. Um, yeah, I, it just didn't age well, bro. Yeah. But w now it's easy for everybody to go back and throw on Dak like, oh shit, Cam was right. No, bro. Like I was just speaking my truth. Mm -hmm. It just happened to be the truth. That's not a hating comment. Like yeah. everybody keeps saying that I'm standing on that. Like, bro, I'm not. A, I'm a realist, bro. And we need more people in media to take the emotions out of it and call a spade a spade. And if how you feel is or the comment or the remark that you make is how you feel or how you have observed the situation to be, be held accountable. Simple. So, shit, what, what did I expect Dak to say right there? Shit, we about to lose yeah, exactly. next week. No, He's a competitor, man. yeah. He was supposed to say, yeah, exactly that. Mm -hmm. But his If he would have won it all, they would have like, he's been of, said it. He's been about it, yeah. he's been standing on business. So, shit. You like, got to stand on something. You got to oh, stand for something or fall for it. Come on now. We rolling down the street to the next clip. So, next up, we got Matthew Stafford getting a one-two combo. Hutchinson mm. here is going to mm. get the first shot. Then McNeil Look at the will watch this pose here. I mean, it mm. looks like. Fuck. Man, if I was Matthew Stafford before this game, I wouldn't even went out to work out. I wouldn't have went out the pregame. I would have walked around that whole stadium. Okay. Inside and out and saged. <laughs> and saged. It was almost like Matthew Stafford stayed hurt while he was in yeah, Detroit. Detroit. Change the jersey. It don't matter. Matthew Stafford is still in Detroit. I don't know what it is. That dude had a toe, a foot, a knee, an ankle, a shoulder, a finger, a ear, a groan. Like, bro, Father God, I just come before you today. And I just want to just cast out all these demons. Get them out. Get them out. Right now. Right now. Right now. Get the oil. You are on time, God. <laughs> The God I serve is on time. time. Whew, we play in about 15 minutes. <laughs> on time. Oh, he's an on time, time guy. Stafford, huh? Yes, Go put your yes. stuff on. Oh. Hey, listen, let me tell you. Uh, he may not Dude, come when you want, want him. Hey. But he be there yeah, right, right on time. time. He's, he's an on time, time guy. guy. Yes, he is. All right, I think I'm ready, y'all. <laughs> Because, boy, my boy been taking a beating in Detroit. It just wasn't set up for yeah, him. Yeah, he took a licking. Because at this point of the video, there. That's one of them. Take me to the king. 
I don't have, have much to bring. Mm-mm. <laughs> boy. Boy, they was coming, boy. Boy. They was flooding them. He still finished and was throwing seeds. No, I know. But if they took him out the game, if you was in that predicament and they was like, Cam. They had no chance. Yeah. Man, bro, I've always been a Matthew Stafford fan, mm-hmm. even when he was at Georgia. Granted, I'm from Atlanta. So I've always marveled over his ability, his his arm talent. Mm-hmm. And it was on display during the game. But <laughs> Matthew Stafford in Detroit? No. It was almost like, we're going to dip you in all the states. And that Achilles heel was Detroit. You know what I'm saying? So I would have went around with some sage. Sage that place up because there's some demons in there. Not to prolong the matter. Next clip. Man, <laughs> Maurice Jones drew, bro. He 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 caught it. He caught it, bro. You gotta listen all the way through. He did not let this slide. This is far and away the best defense that Patrick Mahomes has had, right? I mean, is it possible that they could ride the D? I, I... The defense. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yo, my boy, is it possible that they can ride hey, That is a deep. vet move right there. That, that is, is like, Maurice, that, that's impressive right there because it was just like, those punchlines are hit. Because it was like, okay. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Highly questionable. <laughs> Highly questionable. <laughs> the, the, that, that was the composure that he caught himself. The like, composure. Yes. The, 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 uh, uh, the state of poise exactly. that Maurice was just in during yes, the time of of a very um, touchy subject. He didn't. <gasps> no, it was just. Okay. All right, bro. We all we come on. Fix it. <laughs> fix it. Yeah. Yeah. But highly questionable. Uh, and next clip. You might know a little bit about this. I don't know if you've seen this, but uh, Mike Tomlin was not having it. Anyone? Mike, you have a year left on your contract. Let's run it back. He just walked off in the middle of the interview. But this guy, we do know, and he knows a little bit Why about Why y'all had to take it that way? Force y'all to throw the ball. So you throw the football. That was, that was the game plan. Blow the box, one-on-one man outside. Uh, they got a couple of big plays, but I feel like... Whoa. Whoa. That whole setup was. They just set you up. Yeah, it was. Like, you don't put, you don't put a bull in the damn ring with another bull. Like, what yeah. you think of outcome? It's the Super Bowl. You would have thought it had been in a different room or something. Like, yeah. I don't want to see him. I don't want to hear him talking about. So hold on. They put explain. What do you mean? They put the winner. It in was the in the room? same room, but it was a curtain that was just separating us between the winning team. Yeah, how the press look, go back? Fuck that! Like he sulked, he walked off first. Who the fuck? I just lost the biggest game of my life at that time. Oh. That's the uh, the the nickel. Um, one of the guys. Mm-hmm. But Cam, they don't do this or they don't do that. I'm human, bro. I'm, yeah. I'm furious right now. Yeah. Well. You don't expect real emotions to happen? What, you want me to be a puppet up there? Because, you, yeah, you are human, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The fuck, I'm not about to sit up here and hear another person talk about, yeah, man, we just beat their ass. Shit, we Super Bowl champs. Man. Fuck. <laughs> Respectfully. Respectfully. Yeah. You know I mean, they, they won. Yeah. Hats off to them. But you're not about to sit up there and just be dangling no damn win in front of me. Like, yeah. Oh, I ain't got time for And I shit. think that's better than saying something that you can't take back. Like real shit. Now, if I would've went the other way and it, said, man, f- shit. See me. You <laughs> might've me? won this game, but you, you ain't gonna win the war. Come, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> shit. But yeah, I mean, it's all fun and game. Yeah. But just that situation, going back to Mike Tomlin. Bro. Hey, bro, don't nobody want to hear that goofy ass shit. And they try, and reporters are guilty of, they, they have a job to do. Yes. Right? So once you want, once I found them to be human to, they're not, it, it puts things into perspective. Mm-hmm. But all questions should not be answered, though. It's like, bro, we just lost. It's a lot of processing that has to go about. The last thing I need to be worried about is asking or answering a question about my future as a, Steelers head coach. 
You know what I'm saying? With another year on my con- like, bro, this ain't uh, the time for that shit. Exactly. Get your get your questions in order, man. Shit. Here we go. Third down. Cam approved, or as I would like to call it, boogie approved. Let's see what we got. Yeah, so we have somebody designer that's making. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah. The chick who is making the bubble coats. Correct. That's just a hot Anyone with a smartphone can shoot videos these days. Why not kick it for real? I love that, man. Yeah, that's that's I it's love that. Kidding. You need a boogie jacket, bro. The, the craftsmanship. <laughs> and it takes, I bet business is booming right now. Everything that the Swifties touch, it turns into gold. Yeah. Chief's gold. Ah. You done hit. Yes. For sure, that shit swaggy as. Was this the same jacket that um, she made for Debo too? Debo, yeah, yeah. That shit hard. Yeah, she been doing that thing. That is definitely Cam and Boogie approved right there. Yeah, something that I would definitely rock. It's like I get my kids that shit. Yeah, feel me. Everybody bubble coat. That. Yeah, feel me. Because her husband, he's the fullback for the Forty ers Cal. No way, forty four. Yeah. Uh, forty four. Yep, Bofo bulled out. Aiming at your neck. <laughs> pointed at you. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Definitely boogie approved. Next clip. Here we go. Fourth down. Wholesome moment of the week, or as we like to call it here, the one finger, one pinky, one thumb, the one love award. So we have the Lions GM, Brad Holmes, celebrating uh, after the team's first playoff win since January 5th, 1992. Mm. Like everybody like, bro. There we go, there we go. You need to be happy. Yeah, that's it a long time happy. coming. It's been a long, long time coming. But I know change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. It, it, was, it, it was in the air. It was in the air. And the full circle moment was Stafford. Was that not ironic? I know that they play. They swap quarterbacks. Yeah. Because I know how long. You, we got to go back to this. I know Detroit. That was a backbreaker. Stafford go to L.A., win a Super Bowl. Yeah. And they're like, damn, we traded for the wrong who, guy. there's people who rooted for him while yeah. he was in the Super Bowl. Yeah, as fact, they should. As they you should, yeah. They, they can't. He's a Detroit baby. Yeah. His career was cemented in Detroit. Yeah. But Jared Goff went to Detroit to have his career die. That's what they he, They sent them. They That's sent them to the. They, they sent them to they the grave. What they say? They threw you to the pack. He came back leading it. Mm. Come on yeah. now. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm picking up what you putting down. Come on now. Get your hands ready. Damn. But 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 Jared. Jared. <laughs> Jared. But you playing some good. But no, nah, hold on. Dan Campbell? Mm hmm. He coaching now. He chess. No checkers. The motherfucking. Uh, metal detector I always go off when he walked through that motherfucker. That motherfucker got balls of steel, bro. <laughs> and I say this all respect. It's like, bro, fourth down, and this motherfucker like, fuck it, go for it. Ah, right, that shit. Don't say something. I'm, 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 I'll go for it. Fuck it. No, 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 no. <laughs> ain't kicking no damn figure. Back off. Fourth and five. The fuck is that to me? Go for it, man. Fourth and two on a t- t- Go for it. Yeah. And they standing on business every time. Bit business. And I and I, and I can respect a coach like that because he goes in with the plan and he sticks to the plan. How many times in my career when he's like, "Man, we gonna do this and we gonna do that." Yeah. And them circumstances change when it's just like, "Hold on, hold on, hold on." Feel go, feel. Because really, when you when you look at our our time in Carolina, uh-huh. the riverboat the run, riverboat run, the 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 birth of riverboat. Uh-huh. I was like, coach. Anything fourth and one? Come on, say what? Anything fourth and one? Hold on, one more time for the people. This in the is bag. what we should have. Ah, ah, anything fourth and one, coach? You got the all t- the greatest short yardage weapon uh-huh. in football history. Come on now, give it to me. I I gave it to him. Come on. I came. Hold on, Pop. Hold on, buddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 Okay, I take that back. I take that back. But dang, you got the greatest short yardage asset this game has ever seen. Yeah. Why not use it? Come on now. 
And ever since then, throw anything close, we're going for it. Yeah. He a betting man. Oh, damn. He going to put the chips yeah. in. Why bet? When you bet, <clears throat> when you bet with the house. Come on now. I'm telling you, hold me to that standard. It was like, yo, bro, like we're going for it. You know what I'm doing. He know what I'm doing. She know what I'm doing. All y'all know what we doing. But can you stop it? Should I say it? Going for it. Should I say it? Going for it. And this was before the tush push. Ah! I love Jalen Hurts, but you know what I'm saying? I just needed to play 11 on 11. Because mm -hmm. if everybody put a hat on a hat, leave me one. Uh huh. And I can guarantee you I could take care of that one. Yeah. Poof. Be gone. There you and go. And that's another Carolina Panthers what? first down. Wow, wow, wow. Man, have you, real, real quick note, have you, and this is probably going to sound stupid. Have you ever thought and like pointed the wrong way on accident? Mm -mm. I would just always was wonder that. Question. I just always <laughs> want to know because when you get up and you disheveled, it's like, which way you pointing? I never disheveled. Because you always do the like the double like wah wah. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, I don't never know if he disheveled. started doing it. Is that the dance move or it's like I'm trying no. to figure out which way we going? Never disheveled. <laughs> but that was just a question. My I just wanted to know. Too high, bitch, I just dog. wanted to know, bitch, dog. No, That's all. And I just wanted to tell you. <laughs> Come on. Bro. That that was a dumbass question. Come on, man. Next clip. Man. God damn. Now, now ain't no damn next clip. Let's just stay right here for about <laughs> ten more seconds. If you ever waste our beautiful time while we on air shooting fourth and one asking a dumbass question like that even though all teachers around the world will tell their students there's no such thing as a dumb question it's a dumb question but i stand corrected <laughs> because you know what i'm going through omari garvin peggy <laughs> no, 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 no. listen that shit right there <laughs> Shit, you, you know, people noticing you now. You know what I'm saying? We walked in somewhere, real quick story. We walked in somewhere and said, hold on, hold on. Hey, you the voice behind 4 to 1. It's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's me. Yeah, that's me, be down. That's hey, me, be down. You know. Goofy ass out of here, man. Next clip. Yeah, that was a dumb ass question. But, oh, wholesome moment has to go to the, the Detroit Lions as an organization, not just the GM, but the whole organization. Congratulations on a stint that's been severed with success damn we would have wanted that to be the cowboys but it's not uh let's get into it here we go the moment we've all been waiting for newton's law simply titled keep that same energy from the players as well as the reporters analysts i mean where do i start just go to the clip just 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 go to the clip where he says what he said. Cast. Chad Johnson, you got one. And now Cam Newton has a podcast. And Cam Newton, of course, was a tremendous player. Every anytime I kind of don't give me no backhand compliments. Don't do don't don't, don't do that. He said, yeah. Don't do that. Because th this is how we get to this point. I'm not playing. Haven't played in two or three years. So people know who I am. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's speak on what I spoke about. The, the gist of his conversation was that Dak had a better career than Cam. Subjective and highly opinionated. And my quarrel is not with Dak. My quarrel is with Jason McIntyre and other analysts that speak in ways to make them feel that they're more suitable to talk about something than a person who actually did it. The clip goes on to say, Don't alarm anyone, I'm gonna say it in a whisper, but Cam Newton, you had a worse career than Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott has had a better NFL career than Cam Newton. And we got a great staff here at the Herd. They were able to pull up some stats. Let's just so take a press glance, pause right we? there. What this stat doesn't say, I was a dual threat quarterback. This is a very subjective statistic. Add in pass attempts. Add in rushing yards. Rushing touchdowns. Add in rushing touchdowns. Because who's number one as a quarterback? Nah, nah, nah. See, th see, this is where they try to manipulate the narrative. And instead of speaking about what I said as a analysis or from the analytical approach, they try to poke at the person. So now, Jason... If I were to do my research on you personally, whether failed situations, got fired from a job, flunked out of college, never made a basketball. If I really were to do that, 
then I will be evil. Mm -hmm. You're picking on him. I'm picking on him. You're the bully. I'm the bully. Or they love to this one. They love this one. I'm bitter. Mm -hmm. So as you make your point, cool, but add in all elements of football. If you're trying to uh, 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 give an analytical approach in comparing the way Lamar Jackson plays the game and Patrick Mahomes play the game, of course Patrick Mahomes is going to have more passing yards because they pass the ball more. But if you were to flip it and say, who has more rushing yards? Oh, but that quarterback can't run. You know, like, come on now. Don't do that. Who's responsible for more scores? Come on. Because <laughs> whether you throw it there or run it there, how many points you still going to get? Six. Hello. And it's about scoring. Scoring. <laughs> That's the name of the game. Get to the final rectangle on the field. How many, well, just even with those, how many years did that get to the Super Bowl? Ah, we're not going to talk about, this is not it's about, not about Dak. Dak. It's about the Let's analyst. not make this about Dak. My issue is with the people who feel that they can speak about this. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not a f suitable tagline, and I was tagged on Twitter or X or Instagram and things like that. People love to pull up this statistic, but Anybody who knows how I played the game, it was a dual threat. Mm -hmm. Dual meaning I can attack you throwing the ball and running the ball. Put up those statistics and I, let's, let's still compare that. Than Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott has had a better NFL career than Cam Newton. And Press we got a pause. Great <laughs> like right there. You got to stop that, bro. Like stop that. Let's not get personal. My whole thing is this. Newton's law is all about keeping that same energy. And the main reason why I started this platform was to be able to hold people accountable. Other clips from Paul Feinbaum as well and his statement about Michigan and Coach Harbaugh and what he was not able to do or what he's willing to bet. Ah, Stephen A. Smith is the same situation. When you go and you make a bold statement to say the Houston Texans have zero chance to beat the Cleveland Browns, why can we not hold him accountable to that same thing? That's true. And I, look, this ain't no attack at Stephen A. No. I fuck with Stephen A. But Stephen A, come on, bro. Making these bold, outlandish statements. I would cut Jameis Winston. I don't know what it's like to be in that locker room. The unity, the harmony, going through the emotions of a whole season. That's why Jameis did what he did. It's bigger than just sports. It's, man, you're building lifelong relationships with these men and sometimes women. Yeah. So we have everybody speaking on a term that it's still, at the end of the day, subjective. What's your merit? What are you getting at? Yeah, what qualifies these people to what speak What qualifies on? these people to speak on this? So it's easy, and you're probably watching this saying like, oh man, Cam won his get back. No, I don't want my get back. I want everybody to get back who can't talk about this sport. Just because, oh, I've covered sports for so many different years. Motherfucker, you wasn't in that buff, and you wasn't in the trenches preparing. And you can have all what you want to say about the New York Knicks. You can say what all you want to say about the Carolina Panthers. You can say all what you say about Dallas Cowboys. But until you had to prepare like Tua Tonga Valoa, until you had to prepare like LeBron James, until you had to prepare like Patrick Mahomes and play in front of 60, 70, 80, 90,000, then how the hell can you really talk about him in that, in that type of degree? And we do have the clip, and it wasn't just Stephen A. It was on the Pat McAfee show. The person spoke to C.J. Stroud and, and kind of talked about uh, their chances of uh, them winning. Play the clip. CJ, Ty just mentioned you don't listen to what the media says, and I assume the team doesn't, but just so you know, you do know, right now, the biggest threat to the Ravens is Joe Flacco and the Browns. So just so oh, you yeah, know. Oh, yeah, Stephen A said you guys have oh, no Browns chance. Yeah. No, yeah. chance. no, I'm not a Browns fan, uh, but I'm just telling you. Oh, we have media. no chance? Yeah, like, Stephen A said a rookie yeah. quarterback yeah. No way. is not going to do anything Super in the playoffs. That's not happening. Mm. And what was, the, what was the final score? <clears throat> a lot uh, to, to a little. little bit. A lot to a little. The greatest threat to the Baltimore Ravens is Joe Flacco. Shows how much you know, guy. So, like, these sports analysts, bro, y'all getting out of hand. And it's time for 
us all to be held accountable. Yeah. And I'm not saying that y'all can't hold me accountable because we've seen that that to be the case. Man, Every time crazy. Cam says something crazy, I'm going to see it on ESPN, Fox. Oh, of course Cam's not. I mean, he can't be naive to this. Like, yeah. no, motherfucker. Y'all scared to say what y'all supposed to say. But the crazy thing is, this is just my, my, my opinion. When you say something crazy about another player, they gonna run that. Mm -hmm. You point at them, mm -mm. you don't never see that. Hell they don't no. never gonna re they ain't gonna retweet that Hell one. No. They're not. <laughs> They're not. And we need to start exposing yeah. these so-called leaders of information yeah. in sports. Cause if you were on your deathbed mm -hmm. and you had to make a decision on who you want to operate on you. You would prefer the person that's most qualified, correct? Hello? Not a person that says, no, you know what? I, I, I covered this uh, you know, type of surgery for many years. I know what I'm doing. I done read hella books or you know, I done seen a lot of different operations. How you got in the field? No, I haven't, but this is going to be my, <laughs> like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what you need to do. Because mm -mm. I done, if I ain't, you know, what the anesthesia, Ologist, no, supposed the amount of dog. all that. I don't like craps. I'm betting on the field. Come on, dog. come on, bro. Like we gotta, man. We are in the golden age of athlete generated or talent generated content. Mm -hmm. Going are the days where we just have to just sit back and listen to what somebody who is being told what to say to give their perspective on certain things. Now we can hear from the source. Yeah, we can hear from LeBron James going on his podcast. We can mm -hmm. hear from Draymond Green going on his podcast. Podcast P, Paul George going on his podcast. Shannon Sharp qualified. Ocho Cinco qualified. Yep. Pat McAfee qualified. Yep. Cam Newton qualified. Paper Route. Brandon Marshall qualified. The Pivot qualified. And I'll say this too: it is what it is. I love Cameron and Mace. Feel me? Mm -hmm. But that's just almost like me critiquing a, a a a rap song. But does that does that tell me that they can't talk about it? No. Because if they could talk about it, which they do good job, a great job of talking about sports, mm -hmm. they're no different than everybody else. Than the Stephen A. You see what I'm saying? So shit, it's more entertaining to hear from Cameron and damn Mace because they're going to keep it real with you. So fuck all that damn, that, that mainstream shit. I'm going to go somewhere where it's going to be entertaining. So yeah, I'm going to go to it is what it is to get content because it's entertaining. Mm-hmm. ESPN ain't as entertaining as it once was. But when I say that, that's me hating. Or that's me trying to that's me trying to bring more credibility to my platform. No, motherfucker. What I am saying is, if I'm not credible to talk about this sport of football, then who is? Who is? Mm -hmm. What is watching film looking like? Yeah. Like what is the, the the pressures of every time I look at my phone, somebody saying something about the game? What does that look like? What does that feel like? Everything that I do from where I, what I dress to what I say to what my cleats are, to everything is being analyzed. So just a good segue to that then, since you can talk about that on that end, mm -hmm. but also being a player, if you were in a position of the Cowboys or the Eagles, like which one was the worst loss and like the type of energy they should have brought into the playoffs? Well, the worst loss over the weekend had to be the Dallas Cowboys because the anticipation this was supposed to be Dallas's year. Every year is supposed to be the year. Of Let their fans. It's America's it. team. Come or on. That's that's the narrative that they that they're they're hanging on the '90s mm -hmm. mantra as if it's my like that's not the situation. If anything, the America's team is the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> yes, it is now. Yeah. If 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 you want to stamp a team to be America's team, it's the Kansas City Chiefs. They've been able to be polarizing not only just from the sports spectrum but also from the culture standpoint yeah, everybody with, jumping involved, in. that's why they riding the wave of taylor swift we've mm -hmm. never really seen this if you were to say it in basketball america's team is either the los angeles lakers or the golden state warriors that's not something that you could just keep saying year after year after year after that you, shit is earned you gotta win you gotta win the big one it's not even the win the big you just gotta consistently win like bro when tom brady was at his realm in new england that was America's, America's team. team. Yeah. Because that motherfucker won. Yeah. And didn't matter the circumstances. It didn't matter anything. Bro, we knew, shit, I ain't about to bet against no Brady. Somebody dropped a gym yesterday, just even with the America's team uh, tagline. They say, you all, we all rent our titles. 
Your title is not forever yours. You, we <laughs> all rent our titles. They haven't. They haven't reserved the right to say that they're America's team. They have not reserved the right to year in and year out say that that's America's team. That's not America's team. If mm. any team is America's team, it's the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm. And you standing on it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yes, bro. Yeah. Like for real. And 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 this is what I do know. Mm-hmm. America loves a underdog story. It's gonna be an underdog that's gonna be in that damn Super Bowl. Who you still going with? We want everybody wants to see the 49ers and the Ravens. But from this weekend, Somebody gonna be highly disappointed. Come on now. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. It look like a March Madness type weekend. I'm trying to tell you. They <laughs> crushed everybody's bracket. Yeah. Because really, when you start thinking about it, you still have to play the game. You got a bunch of alpha ass energy on that field at one time. <sighs> Anybody can get it. Boy, you're jamming them. I'm trying to tell you. All I need is a biscuit. <laughs> 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 Come on, bro. We biting, boy. I'm trying to tell you like a great white. Ah, shit, bro. But, Take a bite but, out of crowd. When I'm speaking the truth of the state of the sports, NFL that is, uh-huh. why not listen to me? And we could put up how many stats you want to put up and this, that, and the third, but they want to talk about Cam, the football player, and not Cam, the analyst. Uh-huh. Let's talk about that. Because now I've already spoke on the truth of game manager versus game changer. In the playoffs, this is where the game changers make their mark. And I apologize, and I'm getting personal. I apologize that I didn't show that enough in my career. I showed it some, but shit, some people don't even show it at all. That's true. What I already knew about Tua and, and the Dolphins, they have not beat no good teams. They beat Dallas. But they didn't beat, consistently beat good teams. Yeah. What excites me most about Baltimore, they're, they're battle-tested. They beat the 49ers. They beat the Dolphins. The, the, thing, the thing that gave me the most excitement about the Dallas situation and why their um, loss was worse, because it was at home, mm-hmm. in front of your fans. And everybody knew going into this week was you don't bet against da- uh, Dallas at, at home. home. That was it. You still have to play the, the game. game. One of the most ballsy things that people didn't even mention all week was this. Green Bay came in with a plan. Mm-hmm. The going toss, they wanted the ball. We're going to go down and score first. That's set the gonna, tone. Set the tone. We're going to punch them in the uh, mouth first. First. We ain't going to let, you know, Dak get the crowd involved. And they came in with a plan. Say, listen. Coach speaking in front of his team and say, listen, we already know who we're going against. We can't let the crowd get involved. They did that. They, uh, they took the crowd out of it. Hell, that sometimes they was booing that motherfucker. Yeah. And that motherfucker is a lot of people. It That's was Dak. It was CD. It was McCartney. It was Jerry. It was everybody. So it's a lot of motherfuckers that was getting booed. So when, when the Packers come in, they say, shit, we already know we can't involve this crowd because it's going to mm-hmm. get a little crazy. So she was going to punch these motherfuckers in the mouth yeah. early. So we coming in with the plan and we're going to stick to the plan the whole goddamn game. And that's what the fuck they They was doing. laying them haymakers. Like real talk. Bop, and bop, time bop. at the time, the pick sixes doesn't help. The interceptions mm-hmm. doesn't help. But it's just the, it was, they were a little lethargic. Yeah. And, and, and while I was analyzing the game, it was like they was having problems getting CD involved early. The playoffs is a perfect indication where your game changers step up. Mm, say that one more time. The playoffs is a perfect situation for your game changers to step up. Okay. So when everything is not perfect, I'm going to take over. I'm, then that's where, even though I'm a game manager, I got to manage this situation. Now I have to change the situation. I have that's to pivot. The great game changers are elite game managers and they know when it's time all options are exerted so now i have to take it upon myself to make that play tua didn't do that Mm. Dak didn't do that Mm. 
analyzing Jared Goff, Jared Goff put the ball in people's hands to do that. Dallas no longer deserves to be called America's team. They haven't been deserving of that title for the last decade. Mm. I've seen a statistic that said, hey, Dak Prescott is not a, he's just a, a version of what Tony Romo was. Like real talk. But when I say that, that's me hating. That's not me, bro. I'm a, I'm a Dak Prescott fan. I'm just holding them accountable, just like I'm supposed to be held accountable too. But as, a, as an analyst of this sport, I have the right to speak my truth. And my truth comes from experience. My truth comes from not just me talking out the side of my neck. It's just mm -hmm. like, yo, bro, until you have me feel or think any different, that's just what it is. Yeah. A great regular season quarterback. Tony Romo was great. But in the playoffs where it count, man, you're going to need some motherfuckers that's going to say, hey, listen, bitch, let's get this shit rocking and rolling. Come on, no, like real shit. We getting our ass whooped right now. Everybody, including me, tighten y'all fucking shit up and let's rock and roll. If we lose this motherfucking game, this whole fucking locker room about to blow up. So that's what it really comes down to. So Newton's Law, simple and plain, keep that same energy. But... <laughs> Where's your credentials? Where's your, creden where's your credentials? Jason? Steven? Mm -hmm. Paul? A press pass don't let me talk about y'all? Hey, fuck no! Man, I got a press pass, man. I got a journalism degree. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. No. No, it don't. It ain't good enough. It's been good enough. But when you standing on business or standing on what you feel, no, nah, this is how I feel coming from a person who went through those different emotions, having to perform. Now, that's what it comes down to. I rest my case and uh, checkmate. Now, here we go. Cam's picks. We've teamed up with prize picks all playoff long to bring you my favorite picks each and every week. Prize picks is a skill based, real money, daily fantasy sports game. It's really simple. You select two or more players and predict if they will have more or less than their stat projections for the game. What I love is that it's not just about football. You can play across any sport you watch, but for the rest of the playoffs, we'll be doing NFL picks. So you just download prize picks app, make your picks and submit your entry. It takes less than 60 seconds to play. If you're a new user, make sure you use the code Ace Boogie for the first deposit match up to a hundred dollars. And as my good constituent will say, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. He says, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Ah, last week, my wild card record is two and one. Mm. Last week, went with CD Lamb was projected to have 98 and a half receiving yards. I took more. He had more. Cha-ching. Dak Prescott was projected to have 281 and a half passing yards. I took more. Cha-ching. Money, 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 money. Mm. Now that I feel like a dummy. <laughs> because I went with CJ Stroud was projected to have 256 and a half passing yards. I took less. But he had more. God. CJ was balling. Balling. No dip set. <laughs> okay. Balling. Yeah, that was that was something to watch. He the motherfucker had two forty something in the first half. I knew. Him. I like Cam. Cam, I tapped your shoulder. And Be at down. that moment, <laughs> Big Boogie knew he <laughs> fucked up. So this week's picks looks like this: Christian McCaffrey projected to have eighty eight and a half rushing yards at home. I'm going to go with more. This mm -hmm. is a game changer type of game, ladies and gentlemen. So you're going with the rushing yard. Oh, huh? yes. They got to feed him. Yeah. Feed. feed him. Uh, Lamar okay. Jackson is projected to have 54 and a half rushing yards at home versus the Texans. Mm. More. Fuck. But bet on him. More. Yeah. That's it. I think so. Look, th this is Lamar Jackson type of game. Mm-hmm. Mm. It'll be cold. A little more fashion type of game, a game changer. Yeah. Come mm -hmm. on. Now, Brock Parody is projected to have 264 and a half passing yards versus the Packers. Y'all don't like me anyway. 
Fuck it. Come Less. On. Ah. Less. Yeah, I said it. Because now I do think that the 49ers will win. Mm-hmm. But this is not a Brock Parody type of game. Mm-hmm. This is a game changer type of game. Therefore, that game changer that sits on their team, but he got two of them on offense. Yeah. And their first name ain't Brock. Their last name ain't Parody. One of the first names is Debo. His huh. last name is Sam. The other one name is Christian. His middle name is Martavius. Uh-huh. His last name is McCaffrey. But just a quick question, just for somebody over here. Even if he's dinking and dunking to Christian, we ain't going over 264? Mm-mm. Okay, I got you. Got you. But they're going to win the game. They're going to win the game. Off the back of the game changer. Okay. Christian McCaffrey. Okay. And for the record, what Brock Parody has been able to do this year is nothing less than amazing. Mm-hmm. I think The 49ers have found their quarterback of the future. He's proven that. Brock Purdy is the quarterback of the future. For sure. Pay the man. But you also going to have to pay the support. Supporting cast as well. Come on. So in order for the power play to actually work, all three have to hit. Last week, I went two and one. So that means all three didn't hit. Thanks, CJ. This week, I have full faith that my power play, all three will hit. Christian McCaffrey will do more. Lamar Jackson will do more. Brock Parity will do less. 100 gets you 500. Ooh, woo. Yes, Lord. Mm. It's mathing. That math is mathing. So, shit. You mean to tell me I put $100, I get $500? Come on now. Take your ass on down to your damn app store. Download the app Prize Picks. Use the promotional code ACEBOOGIE, A C B O G I E. And less mad. And that's it for another episode of Fourth and One. Catch me each and every week, each and every Wednesday, exclusively on my YouTube channel. Need I mention? Fourth and One is powered and presented to you by Iconic Saga. But you knew that. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you comment, and most of all, make sure you subscribe. And as I always say, with love, one finger, one pinky, one thumb, all together, one love. You dig?